Okay. And when it comes to like leadership, right? Who's who's like a, a leader or someone that's kind of inspired you or you've learned a lot from when it comes to leadership? Well, that is a question. Um, you know, it's one of, there. There's a leadership all around you. Um, and I mean, I could give you an obvious name like Mandela, and I, I absolutely tell you that yes, I I found his resilience. You know, uh, you know, I, I really recently this year I went to visit Robin Island as well, um, uh, and okay. uh, so Robin Island, Robin Island is the prison, prison where he was kept, kept right? right? Yep. And for someone to okay. come out of that torturous place and and be good to go, um, it's not that he said, look, give me, hmm. give me six months off, I need to recover. He was good to go, and that resilience is a really important leadership characteristic. Um, tenacity, resilience is a really important thing. Um, uh, and so there's, there's elements I can learn from him, but there's elements I would actually suggest you perhaps don't learn from him too, if, if that makes sense. Um, but then everyday leaders around you, whether they're, you know, executive directors of, you know, hospital trusts, for example. Um, uh, well, someone once actually said to me recently, recently they, they said, you know, the, the mark of a person is how much you're going to be missed when you're gone. Uh, so how good a leader you were, you were was actually when you're gone, are people going to miss you? How good a person you are is how, when you're gone, are people going to be missing you? Um, uh, and I don't know if uh, uh, you were aware of, but recently a, a, a great man, uh, his name was Nabil Alazmi. Um, he passed away recently. Uh, he was a, um, and when he was uh, uh, getting close to the end, I, I spent uh, a morning with him uh, at, at home by his bed. And so, well, you know, I went because it's the right thing to do to visit someone who's unwell and, you know, to give him some support. Yeah. He was speaking very positively on the phone anyway, and I thought, no, he's, 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 in, a, he's in an extremely uh, positive place despite his, his, his issues. I, I should go and see him. But you go with this mindset of you're going to help. Uh, so, apparently, you know what? Knowing what he was going through, Knowing where he was in his life at that moment in time, knowing that actually he knew he was going to, he was getting close to the end, it was not long before he was coaching me. Um, and wow, so I'm, I'm 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 there and I'm I'm actually, I'm noting it. I'm I'm I I'm thinking, how's he done that? How has he actually twisted it so that instead of me talking to him and 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 trying to give him strength? He's, he's telling me what I should be doing with Penny Appeal. He's thinking about what I should be doing. You must do this. You're sure you're doing this. this, this. And I'm thinking, I'm getting a coaching session <laughs> from Nabil at this stage in his life. And if that's not inspirational, subhanAllah, what else is inspirational? And we have these leaders all around us. You know, I, I, the leadership programs I, I deliver, they, they, there's a very common mantra people actually use. They say, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. And that's merely a matter of, you know, you've actually got the right eyes. Your understanding has changed because the understanding changed. So one, actually, this was ahead of me, up in front of me all that time. And so, actually, if I was to put you in a room with my 11-year-old son and you had the right attitude and the right eyes, you'd learn something from him as well. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so, I mean, today, uh, it's one of the 20th of September, is, is the 12-month anniversary my mother passed away. Um, and she was an inspirational leader as, as far as I'm concerned. Um, because of the impact of what she did. She had massive influence and she had massive impact uh, in terms of what she managed to actually leave behind, given the limited resources she actually had. I'm, I'm sitting here now at Pennyfield with significant resources at my hand. Um, it's arguably a lot easier to, to pretend to be a leader when you're in this setting. Um, what resources did she have? And look what she actually managed to create. Pennyfield is what it is today because of what she did. And, and that's mm. leadership. Um, so these leaders are all around us. We just have to be able to see them. Yeah. Oh, you're making me emotional, my man. That's <laughs> <laughs> all good. But yeah, I think I think this is very true. I completely agree. Like leadership's all around us, man. And you're right. Uh, we're very blessed to have people uh, like Nabil, like your mom, and others that really like even in secret they're amazing leaders you know for us on stage and in video it's so easy to kind of play that role like you said but to do it when there's no one around it's just you and your child and and do that it's 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 amazing so it's wonderful